fellow YouTubers, Sup Dude Gecko30 here, and I am back, guys, playing Legacy of Cain Defiance. So, in the last episode, we managed to pretty much collect Malik's sword and shield, and now pretty much we got our way to the tower. So let's continue on, guys, shall we? Let's go find Mobius.
what just happened. Curious. This artifact, joined with the relic I discovered earlier, appeared to be but one fragment of a larger emblem. This shard was endowed with elemental fire, enhancing both the Reaver and my telekinetic powers.
I don't get this! I don't get this! No! Ugh. Now, come on. Like I said, guys, it's always the controls that will mess you up in this game. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Here you are at last. I see you found a fragment of the balance emblem. This will be of even further use to you if you can find the other three. Now, shall we? Yes. Let us continue our conversation, but on a somewhat different footing. Now, what do you have to tell me, Mobius? You cannot kill me. We both know that this is not how or when I die. Death is not the only possible outcome. Your delusions of fulfilling the vampire's foolish prophecies have badly distorted your judgment. And Laziel is not what you think. You dare imagine what I think. So, you prevented Raziel's soul from entering the Reaver. Do you believe for a moment that by this you have averted your fate? Or his? Or that of Nosgoth itself? Your manipulations are pathetic. Yet Raziel retains his free will. And that's what frightens you, isn't it, Mobius? You cannot see his path, and so you cannot control it. And neither can you. Yes, Raziel is shrouded from us, but we see the ripples of his potential actions, and every path he might choose leads to the same outcome. He will kill you, Cain. In sparing Raziel, you have written your own death sentence. You still have not answered the question I came to ask. Where is Raziel? He is not... In a true sense, here. Not now. Don't try my patience, Mobius. What have you done with him? He is contained. In time, it may be safe to release him. His destiny must be completed. He will enter the sword. But until that time, he is dangerous. Far more dangerous than you could understand. And your incontrovertible evidence? The answers are plain, if you know where to look. Go west of the pillars. There you will find a testament written in stone. 
but stones too can lie. I get another one of the health ones. Pillars of Nosgoth stood pristine against the horizon. To the west, I would find the enlightenment Mobius felt I lacked. And let's go into bat fly. And back to Raziel's story. Here we go. There had to be a way to escape the spirit world without the help my master was pleased to deny me. Only in the material realm would I have a chance to seek my destiny or change it. In this crypt, I discovered ethereal gases rising from the moldering corpse within. As I neared, I felt a distinct spiritual pull, and the closer I approached, the more that pull intensified.
Sí, hasta uno. Having trouble finding the button to do the spectral shift. Seriously, no Let me check the controls. No, not like that. Okay, um. Okay, there it is. It says it's this one. Here we go. In the end, it was not difficult. I projected myself down into that tomb and found myself reborn into the material world. It was a loathsome vessel, but with an effort of will, that too could change. Huh. Okay. These gargoyles quickened as I drew near, triggering the door to close. I would need to find some means of approaching the door without being observed. says she won't go near the place. I tell you, the pillars are haunted. Haunted? I heard a woman's voice talking and moaning, and there was no one there. How many vampires have you killed, and you can't face down one ghost? I knew who these were. Vampire hunters, scouring the countryside, destroying what had once been my kind. <gasps> my God, what is that? A vampire or a demon? Where? Here. Get him! Quickly! No mercy! <laughs> These were Mobius's hunters, mercenaries enlisted in his crusade to exterminate the vampires. His insignia was unmistakable. But this meant I'd been captive in the underworld for centuries. I had lost 500 years. Then I knew what ghost it was that haunted the pillars. Ariel, the specter of the murdered Balance Guardian. Perhaps she could provide the answers I sought. First, I would have to find a way out of this cemetery. This temple's facade hinted at some ancient vampire origin, 
for it bore the sign of the Reaver and was marked with the elemental symbol of light. The mystery of the Reaver might be answered within, but this edifice was too high for me to reach. method of entering the physical realm was not altogether original. But where had these beings come from?
where this goes to. where we can go back into the physical world. This edifice, marked with the elemental light symbol, was clearly much older than the ruins in the rest of the cemetery. The door was far too high to reach, and to open it, it seemed the Reaver would need to be imbued with the power of darkness. Clearly, I had more to accomplish before I could discover what lay within. Thank <laughs> you. 
but alright guys, in the meantime, we are gonna stop it here for now. That will be all for this time. If y'all enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and comment, and please subscribe. And I do hope to see y'all in the next episode, guys. See y'all later. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, well,